up you guys i'm in the bathroom and i have some news to tell y'all now y'all know i've been training for this half marathon for some time now um and i'm pregnant i've been pregnant for i don't know when i don't know how for long i don't know how many weeks i am i don't know how many months i am but i knew something was strange um and how I was feeling these past few weeks. But it never really affected like my performance in the gym. It just, I just felt different. I just didn't feel myself. Something was just, just different. Um, and then I missed my period. So that just telling me, and then I took a test that said I'm pregnant. And then I went to go get seen and did a pee test in the cup um, and that confirmed it but I'm pregnant and I'm still gonna be running this half marathon. <sighs> so yesterday I ran seven miles and I feel it. I ran 13 miles in two days. Now I'm working up this upcoming week to run 10 miles two times um, this upcoming week. And then at the minimum, I'll probably just keep it between like two and five miles. Um, and then those other days that I run those short miles, I'll just lift just to, um, you know, I just gotta lift. But those days I, I run anything more than five miles, your girl cannot lift. I tried it. I, on Thursday, I ran six miles and I try to lift after I only had 10 minutes in me to do what I need to do and get the heck up out of there. And I brought my daughter and she was so, so, she gave me so much grace, so much patience. And yes, but I'm talking to you guys from the toilet. I need to get up and I need to take a shower. I need to get us together because my dad is in town and we have a good time and it's the weekend before my birthday, so. I'm excited. I just feel like crap. Like I just have this taste in my mouth that won't go away. It's been lingering for like three days now. And then this nausea feeling that I've been having for the past two weeks. And I thought it was just my digestive system. I'm like, it can't be because I've been very adamant on taking probiotics and prebiotics, all that stuff. But your girl's pregnant and i will be running a marathon for sure pregnant and we're definitely going to document this process do y'all see that line what in the world y'all see that second line this one the girl is pregnant what in the world you're pregnant oh my gosh Baby girl's gonna be a big sister. I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be a mommy to a baby. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy I'm sharing this good news with you guys. Um, by this time, I will upload this video. I will already have my first doctor appointment and just coming back from chicago oh my gosh y'all know me i go there every year not like chicago chicago oh good job brushing your teeth good job you be watching mommy brush your teeth you're doing so good i would love to show you guys how she's brushing her teeth she's brushing her teeth so good but she ain't got no shirt on so <sighs> she's doing so good Oh my gosh, she loves brushing her teeth. Don't want to deprive her of brushing her teeth ever. Don't do that to my baby. But we are getting ready. We're going to go out. I got to go drop off Bay's car to go get fixed. And then since my dad is here, Bugfest is going on um, downtown Raleigh. So I think that will be so much fun. I've never been. I've been trying to catch it every year. And I didn't know it happens in September. And it happens the weekend before my birthday. What? Are you all done? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is a very, very interesting journey that I'm on. 
It's a beautiful journey that I'm on. I'm so grateful. I'm very grateful that things happen the way they've been happening in my life. Um, you know, when people leave and new people come in, it's just such a beautiful thing. Um, out with the old and with the new. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys my fit. This is what we're working with. So, got my Nike shirt on. It's a crop top. Um, yes, baby, baby is coming, coming through. And I got on my Fabletics leggings. This is what you're looking like. The Fabletics leggings are definitely sucking in a little bit, but not it's not bad it's not bad you know little baby baby right here little baby pooch but I'm just gonna sport it I'm gonna sport the pooch and these fabletic pants they they fit for sure and they will cinch <laughs> cinch you in they are true to size they're true to size and I love it uh they have a good sale Labor Day weekend it's really good. I got like five outfits for like a hundred and twenty-five dollars, which was not bad at all. I get my hair done on Monday, so that's gonna be awesome. It's gonna still look the same. Um, I just want some curls, more definition in my hair. And I'll see about cutting my hair some more, but I was gonna cut it. I was gonna cut off an inch. Cause I'm, I just love it being short. I just love it being short on my shoulders. I'm always wanting to bob, and look at this. My relaxed hair at the time, I could never get a bob because it just didn't look right. But I'm able to get a bob because of my locks. What? What? Tip for all my new people that is growing locks. Do not dye your. Do not bleach your hair. Do not bleach your hair because. My hair has severely thinned out in so many areas and the breakage is real. Even things like this, I did get my locks repaired. You guys can see that. Um, and you know what? If I just have to cut my hair at some more, I'm okay with that. We're okay with that. but. I get baby girl dress and we're gonna head out of here and we're gonna go. Okay. It's a butterfly. It's a butterfly. It's a butterfly. Butterflies. And we all want to touch them. Okay. Oh, she want that. That's a butterfly. Can you say butterfly? Let's see your hand out, baby. Y'all see y'all hand out. I, got you. I can't. Uh, I think if you hold your hand, look, it's on your shoulder. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. Look, oh, you got two on your shoulder, Dad. It's on your back. That's cool. Look, right there. Oh, look, Kiki. It's like. Oh my, oh she got two on her. Look at him. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, can we go in there? Look, you're Stay in the line. Yeah, it's in the line. Wow. 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 Come here, Kiki.
Kiki. Because these. These some ponies are pretty nice. What's up y'all we just came back from the gym and your girl is not feeling it i'm not feeling it i'm not feeling it but i had to force myself to go to the gym i took off this weekend because i ran those seven miles and six miles my feet needed a break because they were sore and i also bought some shoes i bought some saponis um i'm gonna show you guys some new running and training shoes they're cute 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 there we are so yes i'm also infatuated with the hokas i tried those on my feet as y'all saw and i think i'm gonna get those for my birthday um and I actually want to run in those shoes for the marathon than the Saconis. But the Saconis are a good transition shoe from when I'm running to just training in the gym and just calling it, you know, a good session. But um, today is a slow, 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 very slow moving morning. Ooh, I. I just did what I could at the gym and just to not complain about me not going to the gym and just for me to just go and enjoy it. So, I didn't have baby girl's stroller, but I was able to hold her. This lighting right there. I was able to hold her while walking on a 15 incline, um, walking at a speed of 2.2. That was good, I did it for 10 minutes. That's just as effective as running, so at least that was something. Also did some deadlifts, some squats, um, some tricep, bicep stuff with five pound weights, some planks, and worked my quads and my hamstrings. I will not be working out tomorrow because tomorrow's my birthday. I will be turning 28. And I'm at this point in my life, I say that like I'm old, but I've learned a lot in these past 28 years that the way I went in at the gym, you know, that's it's just life. Life still has to go on. Um, no matter how poor of a job that I think that I did, you know, I'd rather do a poor job than not show up for myself at least i'm showing up for myself the best way i can regardless of the way that i'm feeling right now and the way i'm feeling is just because the pregnancy symptoms is just morning sickness it's been what week it's been a week and a half since i've been feeling like this um maybe even two weeks but now it's just really taking the toll of just being mm, very present um, in my life right now. The way I'm feeling is because it's starting to affect me really, really bad. To the point I'm really getting irritated because I don't want to do certain stuff, but I still do it because it has to get done. And I'm just irritated just overall. And it's the morning sickness is just, it's not even this morning sickness, just, I don't know why they call it that. It's just this pregnancy sickness is all day. It's just 
very annoying, but I still went in. I went in um, about 35 minutes at the gym and that was the best I can do today. Who knows what Wednesday is gonna look like. I'm not working out Thursday because we are going out of town, We're going to Illinois, so. This is the best I can do this week and We'll see how I'm feeling at the end of the week and I'll just update you guys as we go on. But I wish I would have brought my camera with me so you guys could see. But I wasn't even worried about my camera. I just worried about let me just get this in and get it out the way. And if I got a hair appointment at 115, get my hair done. I'm excited. I get it washed. I don't want to wash it. I want somebody else to wash it. I'm not getting a retwist. I just want her to curl it up and make it look cute. And for my birthday. You know? Like, yeah. So, cheers to doing a poor job on today's workout, but feeling good about it. Feeling good that I did something and feeling good that I'm here to actually say that I can do a poor job and be happy about it. I'm like grateful that I can say I did a poor job and not feel a way about it because the old Kayla would have beaten herself up. And this time I just want to show myself grace give myself more grace show even more gratitude when i have before i know i get frustrated sometimes and that's just me speaking out loud and i'm working on that because maybe that's a bad thing but because i did a poor job on today's workout at least i showed up and that's all that matters to me i showed up and i did what i had to do and i complain about it a little bit because of the sickness um, pregnancy sickness but that's about it but it's okay to say that you did a poor job but because you still show up for yourself fuck what these jobs be saying talk about don't show up to work if you're not going to give 110 percent fuck you what i story time real quick this was i was at least 20 maybe working at the art store or something maybe 19 i don't know and you know the stocking shelves they made it seem like stocking shelves was like the best thing in the world because everything had to be front facing. It had to look good and stuff like that. People are gonna come in and shop. They're gonna see what they're looking for. That's what I don't understand. Like when I go in the store and shop, if I don't see it, if I have to ask, I'll ask. But if I don't see it and I really need that product, I'm just gonna go to another store or I'm just gonna order somewhere else. Or it doesn't even matter because you can't control that. But anyways, at me, being an employee at the time they made it seem like you know if you're going to show up the work you got to give 110 percent what kind of behavior is that if i'm not feeling good or if i just don't feel like giving 110 percent that should just be it if i showed up that all that that should matter you're making it seem like if i didn't show up then and i'm giving a poor job i'm only giving like 50 percent or 30 percent that's not good enough. That 30% I'm putting in is good enough because at least I'm here. At least I showed up to do the work. At least I'm showing up for myself. Yeah, I was wanting to get a check because what's the purpose of me working? If I'm not gonna get paid for it, duh. But don't let anybody tell you that you're doing a poor job and is that the best you can, you can do? Yes, that's the best I could do for right now until I feel like doing the best that I can do and feel like giving 110% at another time but right now this is all that y'all gonna get at least it's something and at least you're showing up and it's like okay it might be hyper functioning uh, depression but it's like so what you're still doing something you just want to work yourself and work yourself through it positively so, there's not much I can say about it because I'm tired. I'm too tired to really think about it. And I need to finish this. But I'll come back, show you guys my hair, and yes.